winning start of the season. You must be delighted. Yeah, good, good. Um, overall, really pleased. Um, happy we could uh, send our supporters um, home happy today as well. And uh, just a good, great to get off the mark and get three points. And uh, a dramatic end. Northampton born Ryan Haynes off the bench with a, a winner in the 89th minute. That's terrific <coughs> stuff, isn't it? I thought the build up was good. Um, we came out and young Harvey serviced a great ball down the side to uh, Sam. Sam runs under and his cross uh, was sublime, to be honest. And uh, yeah, that's what we've been working on all pre season, getting inside the back post. And uh, Haynes has popped up and uh, really pleased for him. I'm pleased, I'm sure, on a personal level, that two of your substitutes combined to, to score that winning goal. The, the architect of the move was Lentart and then the scorer was Haynes. Yeah, um, look, it's really nice. Um, I, I felt all over, the whole team came to the forward today and, uh, you know, we talk about a team game. Um, subs come on and make a real difference. And then, uh, you know, look, Birdie makes a, one hell of a save uh, at the end. So, um, you know, everyone put a shift in and, and it's, it's a team game and that emphasises it so much today. Let's uh, pick our way through the game, John. There were a couple of controversial penalties, one to either side. Looking at TV replays, neither of them necessarily deserved. Is it a question of things evening themselves out over the course of the contest in that regard? I don't know. If you look back at <laughs> last year, you think things didn't even themselves out. And I'm, do you know what? Today, I'm just going to enjoy the three points today. Um, there's, there's still, um, and, and I'll leave the refereeing decisions. That was, that was his debut today, and. Uh, we may get the uh, the young man again, so um, look, I'll leave that. Um, but what I will say is, um, just for us to get the three points, I'm pleased for our players, fans, staff, and uh, you know, uh, there's so much today that was good, and there's so much to still improve. And we talk about us over the next ten games, improving, building, and that's what we've got to keep doing. I guess match fitness is a crucial thing. Did you take off Tyler McGlure towards the end because he's been lacking much fitness pre pre season? Yeah, we felt um, obviously it was it was fair to see his conditioning um, at the moment isn't where we want it to be, and probably he wants it to be. But um, I thought he was brilliant for seventy minutes, and probably my fault. I uh, kept him on a little bit longer um, uh, than he should have, and uh, I'll take that. Um, second goal on the chin it was probably I'll hold my hands up to that you know and I, I probably should have made it a bit earlier but you know for Tyler to deliver what he delivered today with the minimal amount of minutes he's had um, just really pleased for let's, him for him let's talk about some of the other debutants today uh, <coughs> Danny Hilton they man of the match very lively especially in the first half up top yeah Danny uh, you know used all his experience today and um, some of his touches were sublime. Uh, he did really well. I thought um, just uh, very interesting with our fan base that uh, Sam Hoskins scores two goals and sets one up. And uh, I think our fans are trying to welcome Danny uh, to Northampton uh, <laughs> today. But uh, yeah, just a, a shout for Sam. I thought he was, uh, he was excellent too. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but maybe Sam a bit unlucky not to be named man of the match today. We said post-match, you know, he's, as you say, he's set up uh, the winner and scored uh, the previous two and had a big part to play in the whole game. Yeah, look, um, look we've said so many superlatives about Sam and uh, he keeps delivering and uh, consistency is the key with him and, uh, you know, I, I've stood here time and time again and uh, waxed lyrical about Sam, uh, so, uh, but it's a good start from him, a strong start from Sammy and, and shows real leadership. Just a final one on Sam. Has he become more consistent over the last couple of years? You know, it's an open secret that the fans are divided about his qualities. But is he getting more consistent? Is he now putting in the kind of performances he did today on a more regular basis? I'd say overall, Tim. To be fair, um, he's played consistently more in offensive positions. Um, so then he, he he gets that consistency. But you speak to Sam and. Uh, He'd play centre half for this club if he if he had to. He loves the game so much. He loves this club. So um, you know, but I I think overall, you know, we might flip shape at times, and he might pop up at wing back sometimes. But um, to play him in offensive positions consistently, consistently, 
you get goals and you get um, assists from it. And uh, Lee Burge, you mentioned this already, the big save at the end, that's a, a match-winning save, isn't it, to keep it at 3-2? Oh, certainly, certainly. He stood up, a lot of goalkeepers who go down, fall to the floor, um, and he stood up, you know, and uh, that's what we brought him in for, so I'm really pleased for him. Uh, what about the players missing today? You didn't have uh, McGowan, who'll be out till uh, mid-September. Oli Mayo didn't make it today. You didn't have uh, Bowie. Bowie, isn't it? Bowie. There's a bit of a debate about Bowie. 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 It's Bowie. Kieran Bowie. OK, he was also missing today. Um, I mean, what's the situation with them? Are they going to be back in, in fairly short order? Obviously, McGowan's out for a while, but what about the others? Yeah, uh, between the, the three, Foxy, Bowie. Foxy, well, okay, yeah, sorry. Foxy Bowie. And, um, yeah, it'll be, we'll just see this week, Michael's pushing hard in the physio room and uh, the boys are working extremely hard and we'll just see uh, at the moment. And uh, this is the question I'll probably ask you every time I meet you post-match until the transfer window closes. Are you searching for additional players and maybe Mate, another striker just, to add to the mix, John? me on Thursday night, Tim, and you're at me again. You're, <laughs> relen job, you're John. relentless. It's been a lot of change since Thursday night. Yeah, we're working, we're working. Um, how many it will be, we'll see. But look, obviously, it, the window's open until um, the end of August. So just trying to make it right for us and um, yeah it's a work in progress at the moment but as you can see we felt we, we offensively we, we needed uh, we needed something extra there today but a great start of the season well done John thank you